In this video, we are going to solve our heat exchanger and create our desolver. So now we mentioned before that UA information, we don't have it. So we are going to add another spec from here. So we are going to create another spec and this spec will define the degree of freedom to be equal to zero. So our name here, it will be the temperature approach. approach. And for the type, this is not a delta temperature. This is a minimum approach temperature okay and here it will be overall minimum approach and the spec is equal to 30 degrees Celsius okay it will be here added and selected and our heat exchanger is solved now okay so now the heat exchanger should be solved after adding this spec if it is not you need to make sure that you select active for these two specs so if I group the active now these two specs must be uh, uh, selected okay now for the desolder we are going to create a three phase separator why three phase separator because we have a gas phase a liquid phase and a water so in this case we are going to add three phase separator or you can select from here a separator and this one is a three phase separator so you can add it here and remove this one here so our three phase separator here it will be our desolder so double click to open it and we have the name for it it's a desolder and the inlet stream for the desolder is our two desolder this is our material stream we are going to have three streams as i mentioned before the outlet for the vapor it's our overhead vapor or you can call it uh, this sort of vapor whatever you like so overhead vapor and for the li light liquid or the liquid with the lowest density it will be our crude oil and the heavier density is water or desalted water okay the water density is higher than the crude oil so we have defined after defining the three, three streams our three phase separator will be fully defined okay now we are going to add um, another heater this heater is going to heat our crude before entering the pre-flash the pre-flash is added usually before um, the crude oil or the fractional distillation to flash the light components okay so and you you inject it directly to the distillation column instead of heating it again inside the heater or the fired heat heater okay or the furnace so now we have our um, streams defined here so if you want to check the uh, results or the information so go here and you will have all the information about the temperature so the temperature is almost 100 degrees Celsius it's below the boiling point of water and we have a pressure here okay so this is a, is a boiling point of water if we are talking about one atmosphere okay if you look here as a composition for the composition you will have the crude the desolter and so if you look at the composition of the dissolved water you will find out that it's 100 percent water okay but actually this is not uh, the case always because there is a lot of traces and uh, in train from uh, the crude also there is salts uh, uh, dissolved in this water but for this case it's uh, like ideal you are only separating water for the vapor you will find um, ethylene you have also here proban or probane okay so this is the composition you can check it and after that okay we are going to close this step and after that we need to feed our crude so we are going to heat this crude oil before entering our um, fraction distillation so now as a beginning we are going to add a heater so now we are going to add a heater okay we don't directly enter the feed uh, into a um, furnace you just heat it gradually so this is our second heater so this is heater number two and the inlet is our crude oil and we have the H2Q 
for um, the energy stream and our outlet will be the feed to pre-flash so to pre pre-flash okay this is our material stream okay now it's you are asked about here unknown delta b here you are given a pressure drop happening inside the heater equals to 372.3 kilopascal okay and also you are given that the pre-flash temperature exit exiting this stream so we can enter the temperature here you so the temp this temperature is equal to 175 after entering this temperature the heat balance will be calculated and your heater will be solid so you have your stream now this stream is ready to enter to the pre-flash so the pre-flash is mainly a two-phase separator okay so we are going to add a separator but this time it's a two-phase separator and we are going to name it pre-flash here this one is called a pre-flash and usually it's added before the flash uh, fractional distillation the inlet is our stream to pre-flash and our fever will be our light products so as I mentioned before we separate the light products from the heavy products or from our crude so this is our bottom bottom liquid or our heavy liquid okay so it's now separated so after that you have after the pre-flashing you have separated the light and now you need to heat your bottom liquid so you are going to add another heater and this time this heater will act as a furnace so another heater we need another heater to increase the temperature and this one will act as a furnace so we are going to name it a furnace uh, sometimes you can simulate uh, this uh, furnace as a furnace okay and you but in this case you are going to add your flow gas or the coal information whatever the type of um, fuel that you are going to burn you need to have its information okay so we are going to hit the bottom liquid from the bottom liquid from our pre-flash and here you have a furnace q f q and the outlet in this case will be entering our trans line okay this is the section that we are going to link the pipe to our uh, desalting unit to trans line okay so now we are asked about the delta b and this time we are going to parameter and we are going to enter a pressure drop equal to 172.4 kilopascal and we know that we need the the exit temperature okay so now we are asked about the duty but most of the time we are given the information related to the exit stream temperature so you need to heat this stream from 175 until you reach 400 degree Celsius okay so now your heater will be solved and also your two trans line uh, stream is solved if we have uh, to check the information maybe the composition of it um the mole fraction so we'll check this one you will find that you have here this looks like traces but it, moving down okay so moving up you will find that the majority of the stream here this is the crude so it will be you have pentane here you have also this is a true boiling point fraction so you define your composite your uh, crude oil into cuts the first cut temperature between 36 and 40 from 40 to 50 you can increase the range so it may be from 40 to 60 gathered together and its composition will equal to zero you can add this together and it will be from 60 to 80 okay for the conditions here you have uh, the pressure you enter the temperature that you need and the vapor friction which means there is a liquid inside it but the majority or 70 percent of it is vapor okay so this stream is a stream that will be fed to our preheat drain or a pipe segment okay so now we can we are going to add our pipe segment but we are not going to finish it 
all so but here you are going to add your pipe segment so pipe segment okay this pipe segment is added after the preheat so here we have one two three four you heat it four times so this is called a preheat crude this exists before the furnace so all of these are before the furnace is the preheat terrain and after that you have your pipe segment this one is ready to move onto the atmospheric crude column so this stream will be fed to your atmospheric distillation column in the simulation actually through um, real life all of this material stream are fed in the pipe but this one we are going to edit uh, sort of we have dealt before with the gas into the pipeline this time we are going to deal with crude oil okay so here we are going to sim simulate what is happening inside the pipeline you will be a pressure drop losses and also a temperature drop okay so we are going to model this now we have added our pipe um, pipeline and this line is a transfer line as if we are transferring from the dissolving to the atmospheric distillation and through this uh, uh, bumping you will have a pressure drop so this is called a transfer line and the inlet for our transfer line in the is the material stream to transfer line and the outlet is our feed to the atmospheric distillation so this is atmospheric distillation feed for the energy it will be our pipe q because we mentioned before that we have a hot a heat loss and in this case we are going also to look at the pressure drop that's going to happen for the design we enter parameters we have discussed actually this before in this case we have already separated water so we are going to choose Tulsa unified model but for two phases so for the three uh, sections horizontal vertical and inclined we are going to use or choose Tulsa unified model for the two phases now we are going to enter the rating for the sizing so we are going to size this the segment here say here and we are going to append a segment we have a length okay we are given a length of 76.2 meter and elevation change it's under the ground so it will be negative 3.35 meter okay so now we are going to view our segment to choose a schedule here we are going to use a schedule of 40 and we are going to choose the nominal diameter drop down menu and choose 600 millimeter when we were dealing with cases uh, if you remember we use 80 100 and 150 millimeter but this one is huge because if you are dealing with water it uh, water or liquid it causes more pressure than the gas so in this case you need a more thick um, uh, sorry here it's a wider it's a wider uh, diameter but this is a schedule 14 which means the same thickness uh, again here this one is related to the diameter okay not the thickness of the pipe if after viewing the segment and adding the information we now go back and you will find this information that your heat transfer information is under specified okay but before defining it we have another segment okay so this is our second segment and we are going to define it the first one is a pipe but this one which will be an elbow okay so if you don't the elbow just search for it it's a part attached to um the pipe okay we are going to choose a pipe, uh, elbow and it will be 90 we are going to elbow 90 standard okay in this case it will define this one to be zero and the length to be zero but it will ask you about the inner diameter so for the inner diameter we are going to add the information of 574.6 and now mild steel okay so the information will be the same mild we are not going to choose or change anything here and now we are going to clone segment the segment we are going this one we are going to clone our segment so we have like 
Kobe is a game, okay? Clone is something like Kobe. So for segment one, if we clone it, so after the elbow, we are going to have another pipe with the same information, okay? We, in this time, we are going to change, um, okay, Th which this means if I view this one, it will be the same schedule, okay? It's a difference, uh, okay? For number three here, we have clone number one. So it's like creating or append a new segment. Here, we are going to edit the information. Uh, the length will be 1 to 1.9 meter, and the elevation will be higher. So it will be above the earth with 4.57 meter. Okay, this is for the third segment. And also, we are going to increase the increment from 5 into 10. Okay, there is two ways to add a new segment. You can append segment, it will add a new one, or you can select one and clone a segment. It's like copying it. Okay, so now we have added this new information. We need to make sure that we have the same information for um, the segment inside. So we are going to view the segment, and here you have to choose 40, and for this one, you are going to add. Um, the same number okay I uh, from here to this one view segment it was 600 so for this one view segment it would be also 600 600 millimeter so now we have three segments the first one is a pipe then an elbow then uh, another pipeline after that after adding the three segments, we still have our uh, pipe segment under specified. In our next video, we are going to add the heat transfer information and finish this simulation.